Tantrum to Fakie is simply a tantrum with a frontside 180. Before you decide to grab this trick, it is important to have a solid tantrum to fakie without a grab and a solid indie tantrum without the spin. Let's start with some tips related to grabbing your tantrum. When grabbing indie tantrums, your lower body needs to start the flip rotation while your upper body holds an upright position. This movement is executed by leaving the top of the wake standing tall and then bringing your knees up to your chest while reaching for the grab on the toe side edge of the board between the bindings with your back hand. This allows you to get the grab early and not chase the grab throughout the rest of the flip. Grabbing the tantrum early will also help you speed up the rotation of the flip, which will help you with taking the trick to fakie. Due to the rotation of the flip being sped up with the grab, once the grab is released, your body begins to untuck. The flip rotation will slow down, allowing you to finish the trick. This is important to keep in mind when doing the indie tantrum to fakie. When releasing the grab and passing the handle to do the front side 180, you will lose a great deal of flip rotation speed. In order to compensate for this, you will need to trip the trick harder and flip much faster than a normal indie tantrum in order to over-rotate the trick and land over your toe side edge to properly edge away from the trick. On your approach, begin your cut with an aggressive trip flip edge from the very beginning. You can gauge how hard this edge needs to be by making it a little harder cut than what you normally would take for an indie tantrum. At the base of the wake, let go of the handle with your back hand and begin squaring up your shoulders with the wake while also coming off your edge. For most tricks, it is important to edge through the top of the wake, but for this trick, you are using the speed and momentum built up with your aggressive edge and approach to get your height and clear the wake. Even though you are coming off edge, it is still important to throw the trick at the top of the wake in order to get a straight up pop and have enough air to complete the trick. As you reach the top of the wake, stand tall to get a good straight up pop with your shoulders squared up or parallel with the wig to get tripped into the flip. As you leave the wig, bring your knees to your chest and reach for the indie grab with your back hand. Even though the indie grab is on the toe side edge of the board, think about reaching towards the middle of the board or center of the board between the heel side and toe side edges and between the bindings. This will naturally help you reach the grab early and prevent chasing the grab throughout this trick. Also be sure to get the grab first before throwing your head back. Once you get the grab, throw your head back to continue the flip. You will want to hold the grab and stay tucked up longer than a normal indie tantrum to keep your flip momentum going so you can do the frontside 180. When you have rotated almost the entire flip, release the grab and re-grab the handle with your back hand. From here, you will release the handle with your front hand and do a strong crossbody pull with your back hand to bring the handle across your body toward the takeoff wake. Upon landing, push the handle down and back past what is now your front hip in order to get your upper body over your toe side edge so you can properly edge away from the trick. Remember, the key to this trick is flipping enough to over rotate so you can land over your toes and ride away smoothly. Getting the indie grab early will help speed up your flip rotation to compensate for your flip slowing down when you pass the handle and spin the 180, as well as add some steezy style to this trick.